Okay, so before we proceed to discuss what conscience is and the other topic, which is the values, we need first to understand or to know what our objective is for this topic. So first, we want to understand how values was developed, okay? And the different kinds of values that we um, see, experience, or feel in our life, okay? And next, we want to learn the importance of conscience, okay? So these um, concepts, um, theories, terms, whatever you would call them, they are kind of confusing actually with um, the morality that we have discussed um, last week and the dilemma, okay? So if you would think about that, these terms and concepts are confusing because there are some parts na similar sila, pero may, may mga maliliit na details na, na na nag-differ sa kanilang lahat. Okay? So we will be discussing this later on. Bef but before we dwell into this um, topic, the conscience and the values, we will first um, have a recap of what you we have or you have um, learned from the past lessons. Okay? So last week, um, yeah, Mostly, we discuss um, what morality is, okay? So, again, morality helps us to judge the difference between right and wrong, okay? So, morality is like the set of guidelines that people have follow in the society to differentiate between right and wrong, okay? So, it is the human attempt to define what is right and wrong about our actions and thoughts and what is good and bad about our being who we are, okay? So let's skip that. So again, morals are shaped by social norms, cultural practices, and religious influences, okay? So can you guys um, help me explain how re um, religious influences our morality? How does our religious influences shape our morals? Okay, so who would like to volunteer? This is just a recap, by the way. Um, I want you guys to remember that there are no wrong answers here. So, ayun nga, wag kayong mahiya na magsalita sa klase. And then, we are open here naman for, to any opinions or perspectives of yours. Because ayun, this is an ethics class and we are not judging. Okay. Um, open minded tayo dito. Okay, so who would like to um share their thoughts on how our religious influences or practices shape our morals? Okay. Sino sa inyong mga volunteer? If no one would like to volunteer, uh, okay, we have your son. Okay, go on. Rinig pa ha? Yes, good afternoon. Good afternoon din po. Ano po yung morality po? Ah, uh, yung morality po ay ano. Ito po yung ano, uh, sinasabi na kung ano yung tama o mali. Ah, uh, bawa po nito ay yung ano nasa paligid natin. Kore po meron kong matanda na nagtuturo sa atin na dapat po tayo gumamit ng po at opo sa mga nakakatanda sa atin para respeto po. Ganun po. Okay. So thank you. Thank you for that. Another one. Another one who would like to share their opinions on how uh, on how our religious practices shape our morals. Uh, 
Go on, guys. Hindi naman ako nagagalit. Mabait din naman ako. So, yeah, fire away. Share your thoughts. Uh, um, nasa shape ng ating mga religious influences. One example po, let's say, since, since morality, it dictates what is right and wrong. So, meron mga means na pagkakaiba na, uh, in terms of religion, na for your religion, this is right. For example, siguro po, uh, best example here in the Philippines, po, may mga religion that for them, eat, uh, eating blood or is, is something na not acceptable. So for them, morality based on religion, uh, hindi, po siya, hindi po siya maganda. But other religions doesn't see it that way po. Thank you for that. Now, uh, yes, yeah, so also we, one of the things that have been discussed uh, from the past weeks, from your past lessons is that every culture has different kind uh, has different um guides on what is good or what is wrong right so that is just like sa mga religion natin di ba kasi sa mga religion natin or kung anong belief naman kung anong belief yung meron ka sa loob yun sa loob ng congregation na ito may mga set of um values and characters that are expected from the people that belongs to that congregation right so um yung mga values na ganun, yung mga characteristics na is expected that from the people na given by the congregation is nagi instill yun sa mga tao and then nagiging gabay din natin yun kung paano tayo nagbebehave sa society or kung paano tayo gumagawa ng mga decision araw-araw right Okay, so thank you again for your for your guys um, sharing. Okay, next. Okay, so here. Okay, so that we have here the question: Does religion make us more moral? Okay, because the ba um. Uh, when we say ethics, when we study ethics, hindi natin ma sa separate yung religion here or nakinabuusapan yung mga characters na dapat inembody sa mga tao according to God. Okay, so for you, does religion make us more moral? Um, what are your thoughts about this? Do you guys um, have an idea in your on your opinion, in your opinion? As a hi, po, as a believer po, as a believer of religion and God. Um, pero I'm not I'm not taking away po yung other opinions po. Pero po para po sa akin, um, lalo na po sa panahon po ngayon religion really makes uh, us more moral because po um because may meron siyang guide religion has a guide on what what you know what uh, what are the things and what are the ano yung mga tamang dapat gawin kasi nowadays maraming kung ano-ano nangyayari kung dapat maraming mga kung ano-anong eto tama to or much tama to pero when it comes to you know to 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 religion merong guide din merong basis and guide and yun mas mas nagiging mas okay kasi guided yung pag religion kasi mas guided kaya that makes you more moral that's only for me naman okay thank you yes that is true um i have encountered a lot of people na um they are they agree with this kind of statement 
that um, religion make us more moral. Di ba nga? Kasi sa society natin ngayon, ng marami ng mga um, situations and na nagaganap na hindi um, hindi tama, pero yung mga tao, ginagawa pa rin nila. Di ba nga? Um, one of the theories or the concepts that you have discussed with with the past with your past lessons is my yung moral positivism i guess na hindi lahat for example ng law ay uh, moral so it might be legal but it's not very moral okay so iba kasi yung pagpapatakbo ng society at ng religion kasi di ba sa religion iniin natin dito it's like the universal aim is to live a happy life, a moral life, a moral life, okay? Na ma-reach mo yung ultimate good, okay? So that's why um, sa most people and really answers na religion makes us more moral. But others can have different perspectives, di ba? Meron ba dito sa inyo na nagsasabing hindi? Um, kinukuha lang natin like yung pulso ng masa dito. Okay guys? We just um, want to know. Meron ba sa inyo na hindi naniniwala sa pinitong statement? None? If, if no one's um, responding, I would assume na Everybody, everybody's okay with this kind of statement. Na walang opposition sa inyo dito. Unanimous kayo, guys. Okay. Next, um, according to David Brinkenhoff and Lynn White, culture is the whole idea that provides a blueprint for living. It is a powerful force that lives in all people that tells us what is right from wrong. Okay. So we mentioned here. Culture, the term culture. Okay, so for you, what is culture? And what is the connection of culture to morality? Mary, connection to sila? What's the relationship, guys? First, yun yung question. For you, what is culture? Okay, then um, what the, the another question is what is the relationship? or connection of culture and morality. Okay, so go on. Uh, para sa akin po, ma'am, yung culture is yung kung ano yung naituro sa'yo mula nung bata ka. Ilang yun, kung ano yung naituro ko, pati yung mga tradition nyo, as in uh, hanggang sa tumanda ka, is daladala mo. So, kung connection naman po sa morality is kung yung culture sa'yo is yung yung pinamulat sa'yo or kinalakihan mo. Kunwari, pag sinabi sa'yo ng magulang mo noon na ganito, rumispeto ng tao, huwag manakit ng kapa. Parang ganun na rin po na alam mo yung mali sa tama. Okay. Thank you for that. Um, who else would like to share? Share their opinions? None? Okay, so the ba when we say culture, it's like the um, compilation of all the beliefs, the traditions of the people that has, or uh, yeah, that has existed for a long time, and it has been passed down to the, to generations, generations to generations. Okay, and still it can be seen, and it is still being practiced by that people, by that generation. Okay, so that's what culture is. Now for um, yes may connection or relationship yung culture. Why? Because co our culture reflects or shapes the moral values and ethical norms that governs how people should behave and interact with others. Okay? So, di ba, sa, sa mga kultura natin, mayroon tayong mga tradisyon. And gaya ng sinabi ng classmate ninyo, yun yung um, nagtumatatak na sa isipan ng bawat tao. Okay? Nag-iins na sa stock na yun sa mind natin na ay ito pala yung dapat natin gawin, ito pala yung dapat na tama. So, nagsisink na 
na na-incorporate natin yun sa sa morality natin or sa ating sariling moral principles or code. Okay? So, um, also, um, our culture, because of our traditions, um, nagsiset din yun ng guidelines sa, uh, sa community kung ano yung dapat gawin ng tao. And that's what morality is all about, di ba? Because morality, again, is kind of a, a of our guidelines on how we differentiate good or bad or right from wrong. Okay? So that's what the connection of culture and morality is. Are we clear on that? Or um, am I rambling or am I talking too fast? Or my confusion sa explanation natin? Okay, clear. So, um, guys, if you have questions, um, if something needs to be clarified, please uh, use your hand to be acknowledged para malaman din ng iba yung kung ano yung nagko-confuse sa iyo. Okay? We don't know. Baka yun din yung question ng classmate. So, we can answer um, at once na lang. Okay? So, culture reflects moral and ethical beliefs and standards that speak to how people should behave and interact with others just like what we discussed earlier. Okay, so for example, eating dogs is tolerated in the Philippines but is totally banned in the United States and other Western countries. Okay, so in the tolerate people in the Philippines, do you guys agree with this? Tino tolerate siya if hindi, hindi, what do you call this? If that person who committed na, na this kind of action, hindi siya nahuli. So that becomes, yeah, that becomes um, an action that is being tolerated. But it's actually kind of illegal, diba? Because we have rights na they have to be protected. But um, yes, um, at the other in the other countries, long before this kind of is banned and it is punishable by law. Also now here in the Philippines, it's punishable by law. Pero kaya nga kapag hindi ka na huli, so tinatolerate na lang ng mga like kapit bahay mo, na pamilya mo, or something like that. But, but if the authorities catch us doing that then you have to face the consequences, right? Okay. Now, um, because we are human beings, we are able to think about our behavior in order to decide what to say and what to do in any given situation. Because you, can, uh, you don't just um, do something without um, doing some thinking. Iniisip natin kung ano yung magiging consequences ng magiging decisions na. Okay? So that's why we have these terms na immoral, moral, and amoral. Okay? So that's discuss this um, terms. I'm pretty sure, guys, that you all know this. Uh, so it, this is kind of a recap na lang. Okay? So what is an immoral person? So... They are the one who knows the difference between right and wrong and chooses to do what is wrong. Okay? Alam mo na nga yung uh, kung yung gagawin mo is uh, mali, pero ginagawa mo pa rin yung mali. Okay? For example, um, a government officials committed graft. Okay? Um, uh, for example, hindi niya pa na-commit yun. Niisip niya pa lang na ay, what if magnanakaw ako or, or ang gagamitin ko yung pondo ng gobyerno para sa akin. Yun. Pero ginawa niya pa rin. Okay? So, that person is an immoral person. Okay? Kasi nga, um, alam niya na yung mali yung kanyang gagawin pero tinuloy niya pa rin. Right? It's very easy to understand. Next, um, a moral person knows the difference between right and wrong and chooses to do what is right. So, 
moral ka kasi nga mas pinili mong gawin yung tama. Okay? You did. You you weren't swayed by the the wealth or the luxuries that um can be given to you by the bad things or the wrong things that you will be doing. So pinapursue mo yung mo yung right thing. Ginawa mo yung right thing. So it's like um nagiging a righteous person ka dito. So you're a moral person when you do that. Next, um, the amoral person has no regard for any standards of right or wrong and just does what he or she likes. Okay? So you, if you're an amoral person, you don't care. Because the term nga nila, you couldn't care less. Okay? Wala kang pati alam kung nagko-conform um, ka ba sa standard ng society, sa norms ng society, you just want to do your own thing. Hindi ka, you don't want to be bothered by the things that um, the society sets for us. Okay? So that's an amoral person. Yeah. Okay? So are we clear with that? Are we good to proceed with the topic values? Okay, so uh, since everything's clear, now let's discuss what values is. Okay, so you guys, when you hear the word values, um, what comes to your mind first? Ano yung word or phrases na pumapasok sa yung isipan kapag narilinig mo yung word na values? Anyone? Parang rules po. Okay. So for you, values is rules. Okay, thank you. Anyone else? Yung para po sa akin kasi values means may value. Yun yung ano yung mga bagay na pinapahalagan mo bilang isang tao. Okay. Mahalaga para so, sa'yo. Okay, so how you value things. Is it worthy or not? Okay, thank you. Anyone else? Okay, guiding principles. All right. Now, all of your answers are correct, guys. Thank you for that. Now, let's have here the definition of what values is. Okay. So it is anything that satisfies human needs. Okay, so they are the basic and fundamental beliefs that guide or motivate attitudes or actions. Okay, so you ang values natin yung mga yung character na nag nag motivate sa atin to do some things, to do some actions in our uh, everyday lives. Okay, so values is also an idea about how something is ranked in terms of desirability, worth, or goodness, okay? So that's what it's all about, okay? Now, we have here different kinds of values that we will be discussing. Now, for, we have first the biological values, psychological values, intellectual values, and the moral values. First, we will be discussing the biological values okay so a biological values are the necessary values to the physical survival of men so for example so these uh, are food and shelter health work clothing and sleep okay so simple in simple words are the biological values are the things that we need the values that we need to continue living, to survive in every in every in our everyday lives. Okay, kapag hindi natin nas kapag hindi na satisfy ito or kapag hindi natin ito na achieve, there is a possibility na you will die or you will get sick. Um, um, the first example here is the food and shelter. So ayun yung kapag hindi ka nakakain at kapag wala kang bahay, so 
you are at risk of getting sick and later on yeah you will die if this needs will not be met especially sleep if you guys lack sleep every day kapag hindi ito na satisfy you will get really sick okay so especially um in our situation uh with the covid 19 diba guys kapag for example dito wala kang food and shelter hindi mo inalagaan yung health mo and you really lack sleep your immune system will bug down for example, uh, in a computer, maglalag yung immune system mo, and there is um, a high possibility that you will get sick. Okay? You will be infected with the virus. We need to take care of our cells. That's what biological values is. Next, um, an important, another important thing that um, we need to discuss is our physiological values. Way. This is psychological, by the way. Just let me edit this. Mamali sila. Yes. Okay. So, where is it? Okay, so psychological values. So, we have here Abraham's Maslow's hierarchy of needs. So, according to him, um, yung pyramid na ito, yung list ng mga needs na kailangan is satisfy ng mga tao for their to, to be motivated to continue living. Okay? So, it is called um, a motiva motivational theory in psychology, the Abraham's Maslow's um, hierarchy of needs. Okay? So let's discuss. Are you guys familiar with this theory? Theory ni Maslow. Do you guys have an idea? Ano yung, yung hierarchy of needs. Yes, it is the basic human needs, but you see the, um, it is um, in a form of a pyramid. So there are like steps that we need to satisfy first before we go to another step. Okay, so sa pinaka ilalim, we have here the physiological needs. Katulad yun ng biological values na kailangan is satisfy for survival. So, ito yung food, water, um, warmth, and rest. Okay? So, dito sa physiological needs, um, these are the needs for human survival. So, again, if you these needs can't be met, hindi magpa-function yung tao. Okay? So, you will get some elements. Um, we discuss natin kanina. Next, um, we have here the safety needs, which is security and safety. Why? Why does people need to satisfy this? Bakit kailangan natin ng safety needs? Pwede ba tayo mabuhay ng walang safety, guys? Guru po, hindi mo. Why, why? Kasi kung araw-araw na lang, parang you'll feel very anxious. Palagi na lang ganun tumang. Parang, yun nga, walang safety. And you always okay. feel threatened. Okay. So thank you for that. Siyang mag-create yung mind mo ng different scenarios that would hinder you on living normally. Okay? Next, we have here the belongingness and love needs. Okay? So, dito po mapasok yung social and feelings of belongingness. Our need for human relationships. Diba? Um, lahat naman tayo gustong magkaroon ng feeling na nabilong tayo sa isang group. 
no one wants to be left out din ba? So here um very important siya sa para sa ating psychological needs. Okay? And next after after na satisfy yung belonging and love needs natin na na, na, na provide na ng ating ng ating family or friends na we go next to the esteem needs. Okay? So this is where prestige and feeling of accomplishment needs to be satisfied. So ito yung self-worth, achievement, and respect na gusto natin ma-achieve. Okay? Um, for example, sa inyo guys, um, you want to accomplish or you want to achieve some so, sina, what do you call this? Na satisfy na yung need mo for belongingness and love needs na, na provide na again ng family mo. Now, you want to do some things and you want to accomplish them. Okay? To gain also prestige and respect. To boost your self esteem. Okay? So, that's what um, esteem needs. Esteem needs is all about. So, uh, our esteem needs and belongingness and love needs are very critical for our psycho psychological well-being. Okay, kapag hindi, pag na feel kasi natin na hindi tayo tanggap at and kapag there are people kasi na pag hindi nila naabot ng kanilang mga pangat or if they fail, na parang nagsho short circuit yung kanilang mga mind hindi sila nagpo-function well. Okay. So, and lastly, for the, our pyramid at the top, we have self-actualization. So, dito, uh, um, there is a re realization of a person's potential and self-fulfillment and personal growth, okay? So, achieving one's full potential, including creative activities. You, dito yung realize mo na ay ganito pala yung mga talents ko, yung potential ko, the things that you can do. Okay? So, dito yung, uh, at dito din pumapasok yung personal self-growth. Okay? For you guys, what is self-growth is all about? Kapag tayo yung tatanungin, ano ba yung self-growth? Do you guys have an idea? Um, yung self-growth po, in a way, is that um, improving oneself ng, in terms of, let's say, skills, probably uh, something new na malalearn mo. And at the same time, pwede rin po na self-growth in terms of how, uh, in terms of maturity, kung paano tayo mag sa mga problema. So, yung, yung po yung for me, yung self-growth. Okay, so yes, that is correct. Now, um, self-growth, hindi lang siya na, hindi, lang, hindi niya lang tinutupo yung mga skills na dapat niyong i-enhance or yung, yung mga, for example, critical thinking skills, yung mga creative skills niyo. Also, personal growth here covers how your characters um, develop or yun nga, um, mature as you go, as you grow older. Okay, so self-fulfillment yun because um, kapag, um, sorry for the noise, kapag kasi nag, uh, na-achieve mo yung self-fulfillment, nag-iiba yung perspective mo at nagiging open ka sa mas maraming opinion and um, by doing this, mas may magkakaroon ka ng mas magandang connection with other people. Okay? And that is part of our um, purpose, according to morality, our purpose in life. Okay? To, to live happily and to live with everybody harmoniously. Okay? Next. Okay, next we have the intellectual values. Okay, so this is the one that improves man in terms of reason, intellect, and 
memory. Okay, so this fulfilled the individual's intellectual desire. How? Okay, so through our curiosity or, our, or observation and critical thinking, creativity, resourcefulness, and being focused. Okay, and reason and judgment too. Okay, so pag kasi, for example, we are curious and we um, always observe our surroundings na enhance yung ating intellectual values. So, mas nagiging critical ka in um, choosing different kinds of situations or decisions that you make in your life. Okay, so by being critical, by developing your intellectual values, mas nagiging logical ka. Okay, so um, hindi ka na nag-base na sa emotion mo, but you also use reason in making judgments or decisions. Okay? Next. Next, we have the moral values. So, um, they are that follows to distinguish their good virtues. And these virtues are considered in building up the character of an individual. Okay, so I think moral values is very easy to understand since um, you guys understand what morality is. Okay, so uh, simply the moral values are practices that are validated by the society where part that um, we are part of. Okay, so yun nga, um, sa, sa, sa ating lipunan, mayroon na tayong mga set of or else that we need to follow, okay? And yun nga yung moral values na pinapalo natin to distinguish right from the wrong, okay? So the examples here are faithfulness in marriage and love and respect for family members. As you can see, um, moral values are kind of like um, a universal thing na kahit saan culture, kahit saan country, we see this or we can observe this um, values. Hindi lang siya um, makikita specifically to one culture or country. Okay? Are we clear on this, guys? Are we clear with the kinds of values that we have discussed? Is there some questions that needs to be a real good? For you guys, and your functions? I would say, uh, I would say for functions, is like an inner voice mo, ma'am, na parang it will dictate to you, kunyari, whenever you do something, or whenever you will do something, it will tell you, tama ba yung gagawin ko? Parang, parang you have like an inner monologue or inner voice na it will tell you masama yan. Or pwede rin naman po, kapag nagawa mo na yung bagay, it, yung conscience, uh, it will also, ano, will, 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 conscience will play as well, na parang sinabi, mali yung ginawa mo. That's, uh, that's for me, the conscience is inner, <laughs> yeah. Okay, thank you for that. Um, also, another one said here na pag sisisi po sa maling nagawa. Okay, so usually we um, associate the word conscience with um, the inner feeling that tells us if what we will be doing is something that is wrong or something that is right. Okay, so dito yung, it's like dito yung pumapasok ang classic um, cartoons na um, someone said, conscience is just like immoral. Okay, let's see if it's really immoral later on. Okay, guys? Now, uh, yun yun sabi ko, yung classic cartoon na lumalabas yung sa kabilang ear yung devil at sa kabilang ear yung angel. Okay, so these two beings 
um, or feelings are telling you something if what you will be doing if what you will pursue to do is something that is evil or something that is good okay so it's kind of a different uh, a difficult thing to explain guys diba? um it's hard to explain in words but um actually sa sarili natin we know what conscience is but it's hard to put into words right or is it just me okay so other someone said here na ang pagbusga ng isip kung sa kung masama o mabuti ang ating mga ginawa. Yes, that is also correct. And another one, conscience is a feeling of remorse after doing something wrong. Yun nga yung may mga devil or angel na nag, nag-whisper sa ating isipan or sa ating ears na um, what you will be doing sa, or yeah, what you will be doing something evil or not. Okay. Or may, or pin, um, nag-whisper yung devil sa yun na gawin mo to, gawin mo to. But the angel, it's like the other person, the other being telling you, no, don't do that because it's something wrong. Okay? So somehow it creates a conflict inside your mind. Okay? So we will understand here why. Okay? See, I really like this kind of discussion. Na nag, um, what do you want? Just nag participate kayo. It's, ayun nga, mas meaningful at yun, hindi lang, mas ako din, may na tututunan ako sa inyo. Hindi lang ako yun, yung magsasalita dito. Okay? So, now, conscience is the part of you that judges how moral your own actions are and makes you feel guilty about bad things that you have done or things you feel responsible for. Okay? So, it even judges your particular choices, either from past, present, or future, and shows God's authority. Okay, so we will later on discuss how God's authority is connected with our conscience. Okay, so I have here um, another definition of what conscience is by according to Britannica and its editors. Okay. So it, according to them, it's a personal sense of the moral content of one's own conduct. Okay? So intentions or character with regard to a feeling of obligation to do right or to be good. To do something right or to do something good. Okay? So yung conscience natin yung nagsasabi if ang gagawin ba natin yung is mali or tama. Okay? So it's your inner feeling that um that makes you feel guilty or makes you feel remorse after you do something it might be uh that is that might be wrong or right okay so other people says na may nabasa akong isang research na according to that to that person to that researcher our conscience though is something na hindi na influence ng kahit anong um, bagay. Okay? So, um, our morality, which is set by the society to for us to distinguish right from good, or our values, sabi niya, is hindi na influence sa ating um, conscience. So, para sa kanya, ang ating conscience is the purest of the the, the purest of the pure, okay? That ma maiyobnay natin siya dito sa super ego na sinasabi ni Sigmund Freud, which we will be discussing later on pa sa mga next week, okay? So why do you think so? Pa um on, in your opinion, paano na sabi ng author na yon, ng researcher na yon na Ang ating conscience is hindi influenced by our moral code or our principles. What do you feel with that kind of statement of that researcher? I would, ako po ma'am, I would agree because po ano, kasi yung morality hindi naman po siya innate, kumbaga hindi naman po siya um 
nasa yun na agad. Parang it will, it, it, you will learn it from 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 the culture, your belief, your religion. Unlike what conscience, it's something na, na sa atin na. Um, yun. Agree po ako na hindi magka, hindi sila, magkaiba talaga yung moral and ano po, yung conscience po. In a way na hindi innate yung moral while uh, morality while yung ano po, conscience po is something na innate na po sa atin. Okay. So, um, as um, um let's put the examples sa mga cartoon um movies or cartoon characters na diba um kapag uh, they are facing a difficult situation lumalabas yung devil at yung ancient okay so yun yung conscience ng tao so yun nga um uh, at that point hindi niya alam kung ano yung kanyang susundin pa because ang um, yun yung kanyang parang at the back, at the back of his mind yung hindi niya, yun yung mga thoughts niya na hindi pa na hindi niya na ilalabas or hindi niya na i-share sa society however um nag na pumapasok ang ating morale dito yung ating moral codes on how we should act okay so nagiging guide na again natin yung morality ang ating moral code on how we should act or behave with the society kung ano man yung decisions na gagawin natin. Okay? So yun nga yung conscience is the part of you na nag-help to judge how moral your own actions are. But um, still, it is something that is not not have been influenced by anything in this world by your, either by your values or by the traditions or culture that is um, being taught to you, okay? So that's what conscience is. However, there are people na um, they have different perspectives on this too. May nagsasabi na pan -aw, yeah, conscience is learned. Do you guys agree with that? Yes, Yeah, so um, this question is not part. Uh, however, I will still ask you: Do you guys agree, in your opinion, if our conscience is learned? Yes. Uh, yeah, I was ask, asking if, at uh, diba may mga yung unang researcher natin nagsabi siya na yung ating conscience is the purest of the pure hindi hindi siya influenced by our values or or our of our yeah of our moral codes or principles in life pero may isang researcher naman na nagcounter sa kanya sa unang researcher na argument which is sabi niya our conscience daw is learned natutunan daw natin yung ating conscience do you agree with this guys What's your opinion on this? Natututunan ba natin ang konsyensya? Okay, so Nashti. Nashti, is that your real name? Yes, po. <laughs> it's cute. <laughs> okay, so you agree with the first researcher. Okay, but while Vince answered yes, by the help of your own culture and the people around you, okay, so for Vince here, na learn yung conscience because yun na, na play yung, para sa kanya, na play yung culture and traditions sa pag shape ng conscience na isang tao. Okay, so um, thank you guys for your answer. Um, as you can see, diba? as you can see, ma, we can understand understand someone's personality through their actions, uh, through their answers. I mean, sorry about that. So it's really nice to get to know you guys, even though um, we don't see each other face to face. And hindi ko maalam kung sa ang parte kayo ng Pilipinas galo. But I, again, it's really nice to know your personalities through your sharing okay so 
Tapos pusing baka mag-side up na naman ang bone. Now, um, in some belief system, it is regarded that conscience is the voice of God and therefore a reliable guide of conduct. Okay? Conscience is the part of your personality that helps you determine between right and wrong and keeps you from acting upon your most basic urges and desires. Okay? So, parang gino hold back kani conscience to do, to not do something that is bad or that is wrong. Okay? Kasi nagi help na, na enter na din don si morality mo at gina guide niya na din ikaw on how you should act. On, or how you should behave or in making decisions in your everyday lives. Okay? So, let's proceed. Now, ayun nga ang sabi kanina. In some belief systems, it is regarded, uh, the conscience is regarded as the voice of God and therefore a reliable guide of conduct. So, for Hindus, it um, our the conscience is considered the invisible God who dwells within us. Okay, so yun yung angel and the devil, na or the voices that you hear, na nag or, na nag encourage sa you, sa you, if you will do some, if you do, will do this or if you will do that. Okay, and among Western religion groups, the society of friends or clickers places particular emphasis on the role of conscience in apprehending and responding through the conduct of the inner light of God. Um, as I've mentioned earlier, na sa, when we talk about conscience, morality, or ethics, pumapasok talaga dito yung um, topic ng religion and culture because um, also in our different um, where congregation we belong to may mga set of conducts or ethics or characters that is expected and that is considered na for the congregation that that is something good and something that God wants us to do. So, hindi natin separate yung mga terms na ganito. Okay? So, um, so far, from our discussion, how do you differentiate conscience from morality, guys? Because, um, diba? Okay, so, the main difference here, because for morality, it's kind of a universal set of guidelines na people follow to distinguish again um, bad from wrong. Okay? So, it's universal. However, ang conscience naman is at yung values, actually, is um, different per individual. Okay? So, each person has different sets of values and conscience sa kanilang isipan or kanilang paniniwala. Okay? Pero, ini-incorporate din nila yung morality sa kanilang mga decision at sa mga values or conscience nila in making decisions in their life. Okay? So, okay, we have here an answer. Okay, so, sa so moral, that is what you believe po to be right and wrong and yung sa conscience po is that it helps you to decide what is actually wrong and right. Okay, that is also correct. Okay. Ano yung inaagutan? Sorry, pa agree pa kasi sinabi niya din pa. Oh, okay. All right. Now, um so that's the end of our lesson. Um is everything clear to you guys or did I miss something that needs to be addressed? Okay, so all clear. So let me 